the statistics really are appalling. And um, where we are at the moment is um, totally unacceptable. Women are a majority, but when we look at their representation, they are heavily underrepresented. When you say democracy is a government of the people, for the people, by the people, and then you have a significant portion of the people not participating, not being represented, then what kind of democracy do we really have? No nation has made progress where a large segment of its population is shut out. When you see crisis everywhere, because the women are not, their voices are not heard in decision making. The Nigerian girl child is not taught the lessons of power. Over the years from the past, our culture hasn't been one that has really like encouraged women to speak out. We are very patriarchal, totally. How do you make the people, the electorate, vote for the woman? That we have not been able to crack. Men don't want women to come out in politics, period. The slants that are given to women in public office are just sometimes so discouraging. When you give your opponent the impression that you are weak, you lose. Party politics is quite different from what you see outside. There are so many intrigues. If a governor is not interested in any of the women that is contesting, the delegates will be skewed. In my campaign, I said, vote for me, not because I'm a woman, but because I can do the job. We have to learn grassroots mobilization. We have to learn going from door to door. We have to learn sisterhood on that level. A woman will definitely become a governor someday, and a woman will become a president someday. We're going to get it. People are ready to vote for women of substance, period. <laughs>